say bananas, you say peppers. And you guys, it is time for another mystery capsule unboxing. And I am sitting right in front of the box today, but it is a gigantic plastic tub. And just in case you guys have not ever seen another one of my like time capsule unbaggings, unboxings, you know what? I think I should make a playlist and link it down below. But um, this box is gonna be another super, super old box. This was stuffed all the way back in the very back of my parents' attic and they did some big like spring cleaning a couple of months ago and found like a bunch of mixed boxes of just like stuff from my childhood. Sometimes we've opened them and it's been stuff from like the very late 80s. Most of the time it's a lot of stuff from the 90s. I have no idea what is going to be in this box today, except for that it is my old magical stuff. <laughs> you guys, I'm kind of hoping one of these days I'll open a tub like this and it will be like some stuff from like junior high, high school era. But so far, pretty much all the like history bags and boxes I've done like this, it's been like from my early childhood days. Forgive my like 70s rock star look today with the sunglasses, but the last time I was like digging super deep in boxes like this, there was like a lot of dust that ended up hitting me directly in the pupils. I'm already having just like a super battle with allergies lately, so we're just gonna like protect me retinas just a little bit, but let's go ahead and dive in. I don't know what we're gonna find, but I bet it's gonna be exciting. Also, it's hair washing day, and I always love to do um, unboxings like this where I'm digging through really dusty stuff when I'm about to wash my hair and I'm about to crimp my hair because you guys, my hair is sad. How about a tambourine? I don't know if this was like a set of something. Oh my God, wow. So this actually had to belong to like my parents or maybe a cousin or something because it's dated like 1979 and I was not yet alive then. But I do remember having this as a kid. So this must have been something that was like pass down. Also in there is this strange chicken charm. He doesn't have any eyes, but he does have an adorable blue sailor hat. I feel like this would make like a really cute addition to like one of those plastic like phone charm things. This is something else that I definitely remember from my childhood, but I know that this belonged to my mom. So it's like this little giraffe, kind of like hand sewn animal. He's missing one eye. I, th I think it's a giraffe, but he has a leash. So uh, do you want to take your giraffe for a walk? Up next is something I know <laughs> was mine. And unfortunately, this doesn't have a date on it. Oh, it does. 1992 at DC Comics. I was obsessed with Catwoman back in the day. I think that these things still exist to this day where they're like the little like paint your own sun catcher kind of kits. I haven't seen any like this in a really long time where it's like not see-through plastic, if that makes any sense. They're normally like you paint them and it makes like a stained glass kind of thing. I seem to even remember doing that kind of craft kit when I was a really little kid. And it was like this kind of plastic stuff that you would sprinkle onto the stained glass. And then like you'd put the plastic in the oven, you would melt your own plastic, the craft kit, and it would like fill in. Is that like some kind of fever dream I'm having? Do you remember that too, where you would like melt the plastic plastic and that would be like kind of the paint for the sun catcher stained glass thing. Anyway, up next I have a heart man <laughs> and I don't know where I got this from. I'm trying to see if there's a date. 19... Oh my god, does that say 1980? Eight, maybe? There used to be like just gift shops. I feel like I said this in like another time capsule video because it's just so weird to think how prevalent these things were in like the late 80s and early 90s where like you'd have several of them in the mall or just in strip centers and they would be like gift shops. They would sell just like random little plastic things like this, plushies, like pens and pencils, like just absolutely like just random little knickknacks and I don't remember when they all like stopped existing. I loved those things as a kid. Say cheese! Oh! Oh 
it does to like make all the noises. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look, it counts up to eight. See, I've always loved camera stuff, even when I was a baby. So it's so funny that it's like a 35 millimeter camera toy. I wonder if at one time it did flash. I don't remember. It says, Special effects. Yeah, so this is a Fisher Price toy from 1988. <laughs> and I wish that I could like do something fun and like somehow like incorporate this into like a fun outfit, you know? Cause I feel like it's just so like weird. I don't know. I love stuff like that. We have a pinky in the brain accompanied by some other thing. It had to be like obviously when Animaniacs was out. I'm looking for a date and it says 1993 but it says experiment in process and it's like a little car. It has brain on top and Pinky is inside there so when you roll the car Pinky spins around. It's so cute. I still love Pinky and the Brain. Oh my god! Oh my god. Okay, I don't know what the hell this is, but this is so ingrained in the depths, depths of my memory. If anybody out there recognizes what the hell this thing is or what this character is, it was like a thing you could clip on your pocket or I used to always wear it as a necklace and it used to have like, I think a slime canister component inside of it and you would push the slime in there and slime would ooze out of its face, its eyes, and its mouth. Now I had lots of toys like this growing up because I think it was called Count Creepy Head. There was this whole set that I had. It wasn't Play-Doh. It was like a Play-Doh competitor, but it was like a skeleton and a Frankenstein and stuff. And you would like shoot like the Play-Doh through their head and they would grow hair and all kind of stuff. So this is like a very similar toy. I love toys like that, but I have no idea what character this is. It says, oh my God. Okay, let me move my glasses 1988 i think nickelodeon this is some kind of nickelodeon thing but well, what is this from i don't know okay 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 i'm spending too much time on this but this is literally like wow could i hit myself in the head a little bit more uh this is legit about to be like a fashion accessory oh my god i would be so excited you guys i also had a necklace very so we're gonna we're gonna keep digging i'm not gonna tell this story unless i don't find it in this box oh Hey, look out world, it's Krang. I loved Shredder and Krang. I used to like do these games with my mom all the time when I was a kid. She would pretend to be Krang and I would pretend to be Shredder. Oh, we have a troll. Ye old troll, 1986, I was one. This is my troll from when I was one. And um, I feel like this is like a very old looking troll. He looks like he has something slightly melted to his hand. He I feel like this would be like a fun random video to do with you guys. I remember I used to always put like styling gel and hairspray in their hair. You know what? I feel like I'm having a memory now where like my mom would be styling my hair for dance and she'd have to put all the stuff in it. It used to be called Dep. <laughs> and then I would do the troll's hair at the same time. So this troll has like million year old Dep crusted in its head. All right, you guys, we've got a big giant turtle and I'm going to hold this away, away from my face because I love him, but I feel like he should go like live outside now. I remember playing with this thing all the time. However, it was like a bath toy. And I remember I used to always laugh because it pooped out water. And at this point, it's probably full of black mold because have you guys seen that thing? It was like, it came up a couple of years ago. It was like trending about this like super popular giraffe toy that I know I've seen at Target and everywhere else. And people were like cutting it open. It was like full of black mold. And like now I cannot get the image of the mold out of my mind. Moving on. Who do we have? Oh my God, I remember this guy too. Yes, it was like a pterodactyl, plastic pterodactyl. And I thought he should have this beautiful little Minnie Mouse backpack, keychain backpack. So he's pretty stylish. I love that. These were like my favorite kind of toys growing up, like weird men 
action figures, things like that. Because here's another one of my dinosaurs. This looks like it was like part of something, but it's just play school. It's just a generic 1987 play school dino. But I remember, ooh, the fun we would have. Yes, I don't know what kind of dinosaur this is. I feel like I kind of went through like a little bit of a dinosaur period as a young child, which I don't know why, because dinosaurs, like, they kind of freak me out. No offense, little buddy. What was I thinking? And I feel like that was pre-Jurassic Park, too. I have another, like, play school thing, and I distinctly remember carrying this around. Oh my god, yeah, I think if I flip this, <gasps> yes, I remember that. Okay, so this was so cool because it was like a little flashlight, but you could turn it one way and, like, it would shine a red light, like a film kind of thing comes down and then if you turned it the other way it was like green. I had this when I was like itty bitty teeny tiny little itty bitty babby. What do we have in here? Let's just start looking at a cluster. <laughs> These are a few of my favorite things. Okay um we've got Catwoman. Of course we do. A nice little Catwoman statue. And this was probably 92 as well. And then I had a lot of these bendy guys. I feel like we're gonna see a lot of these in here. I had um, ye old bendy Jack Skellington. He looks really cool. I don't remember what year this movie came out. Can anybody give me a date on that? And then I've got this guy. He's a mummy. And he's like a tie-dye <laughs> mummy. I just, all my aesthetics in one thing. And then this guy, I wish he still had his wings, but I think he was a uh, Ghostbusters. Or was he Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? 1990. He's, I think he's actually from uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but he was like this bat thing. And you know what? I feel like all my favorite or the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles action figures that I remember having the most. I think that those are categorized as like the worst figures ever made because I think he was on that list and my absolute most memorable favorite Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figure that I ever had besides Shredder of course was one called Mutagen Man and he was like this tube and you filled him with water and then you put all these like weird little plastic bits inside of there like fish bones and it was a weird thing but I liked it. We have more bendy guys. This looks incredibly dirty, but um, I distinctly remember this bendy rabbit. And uh, I definitely should just plant like a little cactus in this guy because he is super dirty on the inside. I probably just like filled it with dirt and stuff. And I hate to admit that I don't remember what this is from and I don't know why it looks honestly so questionably dirty, but it looks like it has teeth. I don't remember. Some kind of car thing. I don't know. Okay, this guy. Oh my god. I'm never putting him in a box again. He's gonna get a bath and he's gonna live with me from now on. I was obsessed with The Never Ending Story when I was a kid. I probably read it like 50 times and they did not have like obviously any merchandise or any action figures or anything for that book slash movie whatsoever. And I remember I was just so excited when I found this guy because to me he was Falcor. And so me and this little guy, we had some good times. We have vampire Donatello <laughs> and uh, this is probably something that really appealed to me as a kid because I loved Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and I have always loved vampires Halloween stuff I don't remember what these trolls were called I think yeah clearly at one point in time he had batteries in his butt and I think you could press his stomach and he would say like I don't know five fun magic troll phrases but trolls were like so popular at some point in the probably late 80s early 90s that there was like all of these spin-off trolls like we had trolls treasure trolls there were like some of these like super muscular looking trolls that i don't remember what they were called but i think they were like trolls for boys so yeah here we have another gorgeous troll and um, this one has like magical tie-dye rainbow hair. 
And I love that. This thing is like really weird. I definitely remember it, but I don't know what it came from. Oh my God, I love this little guy. Okay, so it was like these sets of things and you could build figures and creatures and stuff using high focus. You could build like, um, give them different bodies and stuff. I loved this guy, but I loved this guy even more. It was like his little dog or something. And you know what's so funny is literally, I was just looking at like calming products again on Amazon last night. Um, Cause you guys know I love to make those like calming items I bought on Amazon videos. And these things, oh my God, no, my little doggy. Um, these things are so popular all over again. They have like really big ones now. So yeah, this is so cool. They have like feet. And um, I, rem I, I remember, I always loved the hands. They have these like little gloved hands. And then they just have like different pieces like this. Oh, there's his little body. I think this was like the dog body. And there was even like this one. They've kind of melted together now. Um, but there was like a wheeled section. And then you, oh! <gasps> oh my God. I loved this thing too. It's just a magnet stick with a bunch of magnet balls on it. Oh my God, I love stuff like that too. I feel like I need this in the sewing room now for when I like drop pins on the floor and then I can just like wave my magic magnetic wand. And then there's just basically like a lot, a lot of these things. Do you find that soothing? I mean, it's fun to do, but I don't know if I would say like soothing. Kind of sounds like the thing from The Grudge, if I'm being honest. Oh my God, I remember these things too. They were like, I don't know, fast food commandos or something. I loved stuff like this. So random, so weird. There was like an ice cream and a piece of pizza and like all kinds of weird stuff. Yeah, 1988, so I was like a baby. Yeah, my parents would like take me to Toys R Us and I would immediately say, can I get a new little man? And I would just get some kind of like weird action figure. I don't know. That was the toys that I loved. Ooh, this is uh, something I had when I was like literally an infant and it probably says like 1985. Let's see if this will still play. It was like this thing. Oh yeah, look at him go. There's like a bell and the little ponies. Hopefully you guys can see without a glare too bad. But yeah, it's like really like badly melted, unfortunately. That's what happens in Texas when you shove everything in the attic. Okay, so this I remember was like super fun and I'm definitely not gonna put it in my mouth, but it was a Nickelodeon like whistle, Happy Meal toy kind of thing. And um, you would blow into this whistle and there was these like categories here, right? And then all of these were a letter. So I loved stuff like this when I was a kid because it was like a little puzzle. So you would like blow into it and where it landed, like say you got food on an L, you would have to like think of a food that started with the letter L or like an animal that starts with the letter M and like all kinds of funny stuff like that. And it was pretty easy until you got like a Z, Z food. What is that? Z food. Can you think of a food that starts with the letter Z? Look, it's one of those um, trolls that I was talking about. I can't believe I had one of these. I think that there was like a couple of different ones too. They didn't all look like this, but this was like the troll soldiers or something. I don't know what they were called, but they had like gigantic like treasure shields almost. Dude, this guy, he looks like he's like seen some things and they're like sticky. I feel like they're like disintegrating in here. All right, up next we have the tiger from Aladdin. We have another, let's keep it away from my face, but a bath toy that I loved. So you wound him up and he was like a little scuba diver thing. You see his face 
Looks so cool. Then, ooh, we have um, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Always a favorite of mine. So cute. Ooh, a Polly Pocket. What do you want to bet? Is Polly inside of it? <laughs> Probably not, knowing me. And it looks like we have a fuzzy Lisa Frank sticker on the back. And uh, let's find out. Is Polly inside? Nope. I think this was like an animal one. No, this is like her house or something. I don't know. There's like a bed, a sofa, a couch, but then down there, I guess that's just like a backyard or something. Where are you, Polly? We'll probably find her like loose in the bottom. I feel like we found a couple little um, Polly pockets from last time too. Okay, I think that this is like Crocodile Dundee and he's like a little super like bendy figure. Wasn't this Crocodile Dundee? I don't know. Or maybe it was like a G.I. Joe that was like, a crocodile man. <laughs> this keeps calling to me, so I'm gonna pick it up. It is a ninja turtle. He has like sharks strapped to his arms. I do not remember the theme of this turtle. <laughs> he looks like he's wearing like um a wetsuit. He has sunglasses. I don't know what's going on there but it looks pretty cool. Okay, here's another one of these things. I loved these things so much as a kid and we used to always pretend that they were like so thirsty and you like give them a drink and then, oh, I'm so better. Oh, okay, you have to get better. Oh yes. <gasps> I feel like I used to take these to Luby's when I would eat at Luby's. Do you remember Luby's? Did you have a Luby's? I used to always love the fish filet at the Luby's and we would go eat at Luby's like every Friday night. <laughs> All right, you guys, the camera is now overheating. So just a couple more things for this time, but we have, what's the rats? Splinter, there we go. Splinter from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. These look like some of the really early ones too. Okay, I do see a date, but I can't read it. Like 1988. Um, so definitely some of the early ones. My first like action figure type thing ever, especially from the Ninja Turtles, was a foot soldier. But I don't know where he is. Maybe we'll find him. Um, this just looks like something I absolutely love, but it's just like a generic plastic Halloween bit. We have a ghost, a black cat, a pumpkin, and a skeleton. And uh, this is probably gonna sit on my desk from now on because it's just my aesthetic. Then we have two things that I think are the same but different. I think that these came on like the tops of bubble bath. So we have a bell or maybe it was like a puppet or something. I don't know. I feel like some kind of pizza restaurant, they used to do that where they would like, you would go and you would get like a kid's pizza and then they would give you like these cool but weird rubber puppet things. Um, this definitely though came off of like a shampoo or a conditioner bottle. And I feel like I've shown you guys this before because I definitely feel like I've had more than one shredder. Like I said, my life like kindergarten age was all about shredder. I went to school as shredder. I wore a purple shredder cape every day of my life. And so anything that was like shredder. I had it. Ew, okay, I found a genuine fashion accessory and look, let's just look at one more shredder. I loved watches like this as a kid and Raphael was my favorite. So um, I don't know what happened to the watch band, uh, but that's what this was. You had these little watches like that. These were like super popular in the 80s and the 90s. They made them for like every character. I have a Pee Wee Herman one too, but I bought that like as a full grown adult Pee Wee Herman watch. And then this is a shredder. Oh, okay. I was wondering what was going on here. So clearly he's broken, but he's like a wind up thing and he must've had like spikes or something on his, so see, ugh. It's still like, it's kind of warped, but I mean, all his things are broken off, but you, you get the point. He probably like had some kind of like magical rotating arm spikes or something. I don't see a date on this guy. And I don't really remember what this one looked like when he was not broken, but uh, yeah, I feel like we both got through a lot and then like not much at all. I keep seeing this too, which is like from the dinosaurs. Oh, I was wondering what this did. Okay, let's see if this will do anything. I feel like there was like a couple Happy Meal toys that was like this. You like push this thing. Oh, he just barely like moves. 
I, like push this thing. It's like those old frog toys that jump. But I don't know, Dinosaurs was like a show that I liked for a really long time. And then the last episode was like so horrifying to me that it like made me unlike everything that I had liked about this show. Like, do you ever have an experience like that where you watch a whole show and you love it and then uh, they do something like so horrible and dumb? And it's cause I also, I feel like it was like one of those shows that like really appealed to kids, but it wasn't necessarily for kids. You guys want me to spoil it? I mean, it's like a 30 year old TV show at this point. So not much to spoil, but like, I think that the show just got canceled all of a sudden. And so I think they were kind of like disgruntled about it. And then like the very last episode is like, hey guys, the dinosaurs are all gonna die. And then it's like these cute little like dinosaur characters that you've bonded with for several seasons. And then all of a sudden, like they're like, hey guys, meteors coming. It's just really weird. You know what I mean? Well, this is like an odd note to end this video on. Wait, let me find one more fun thing out of the box maybe. How about this thing? Cause I remember this thing but I don't remember if this was like a shredder or something. I remember the look of this thing, but I don't 100% remember what this thing is. You know what I mean? What is this thing? He looks like a Ninja Turtle kind of thing. Is this like Robo Shredder or something? So now we just ended this uh, video on a very confusing note, but I know that the camera is about to overheat. Anyway, you guys, we should be back again with part two in about a week-ish when I wash my hair again. Let me know if you guys remember any of these things from your childhood and we have a ton more. I'm thinking that we'll be able to do the rest of the box all in one video, maybe if I move a little bit faster, but I feel like we've already talked about this before where I'm like, oh, do you guys like me to like talk about memories or do you just want me to like rapidly take stuff out of the box and I feel like you guys always like to hear about this stuff for the most part like what I remember this is definitely like find of the day I'm about to wash this up and like legitimately start putting slime through its face again or something I don't know I don't know anyway uh thank you guys so so much for hanging out today and for watching if you're not already and you'd like to be at the button down below subscribe become a member of the banana pepper squad today and I probably just didn't even say subscribe anyway until I see you guys again stay happy stay healthy stay sassy stay banana peppery I love you guys so so much and I will be back again very very soon bye